Hi everybody, it's Sheila. Welcome back to the Crochet Nurse channel. Today what we're going to do is an unboxing of month four of Annie's Hook and Needle Crochet Kit Club. Uh, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell below. So as many of you remember, I have gotten three previous months of Annie. Um, the first month we got we got balls of cotton and I made some kitchen, kitchen sets, dishcloths and a dish towel. And then month two, we got acrylic and I made a shawl. And then month three, we got another bag of cotton, but it was a really bulky cotton. And we made some baskets with that. And so this is month four. Um, I had considered whether or not I was going to cancel or not. And in the interim of me trying to, <laughs> trying to make a decision, month four came. So I'm like, okay, I guess we're going to take it. Uh, but just FYI, for the pricing for this, for the kit club, um, they have like 12 different kit clubs at Annie's for those who are not aware. And it's at Annie's Publishing. That's also the people who say uh, sell crochet exclamation point and crochet world. Uh, but for these kit clubs, they run $19.99 a piece uh, plus shipping. And so we should be all in for right around $26 or $27 after the fact. So let's take a look. And this one is a fat one. Um, and it's heavier than what I had last month. It just feels heavier to me. And it feels like I have like four balls of yarn in there, but we'll see. I'll see what we got. The packaging is different. I think last month we got uh, like white packaging or something. Okay. And I did, uh, somebody left in my comments what the envelope was for. I was told that it's so you could order more yarn. <laughs> so now we know what the envelope's for. I did not know that. Uh, let's see. There's our invoice. Um, 2776 because there was tax included on top of it. And the shipping actually was only $5.95. So that's actually cheaper than, uh, than Mary Maxim. What is this? A special thank you for our customers. I'll open it real quick and... It's just going to be advertisement, I would imagine. Uh, yeah, it's advertisements. It's, uh, yeah, just various advertisements that are in there. Okay. I'm not seeing anything crochet. It's referring back to their site. Okay, so let's see what we got. Let's go in. Oh, okay. And this is what we're getting this time. Gainsey washcloths. And I don't know, we must be on the same wavelength, Annie's and myself, because I was just going to start making some washcloths. I made the dish scrubbers the other day because I, I kind of tossed the rest of the ones I had. I didn't like how they were coming out in the wash clean anymore and so I tossed them and I had to make some more and this was actually on my list to make so that's not bad interesting design there right I think I read something about Gainsey uh, the style it's a particular style where it's kind of like a bulky type of a style let's see what we got for the yarn and the pattern whoops I'm dropping it so the yarn is, hmm, ooh, the yarn is Lily's Sugar and Cream. And so I'll have to look up the price, um, but I think these go for like three bucks. I don't know. I'd have to look it up and I'll, well, after I make these and bring it back, I'll put the price up. But I got four of these. I got four of these in this kind of tannish color and then the pattern to make these looks like three washcloths. Let me see. Um, 13 inch. It looks like two of them and they're going to be uh, it looks like 13 inches. I'm not sure. But this is the crochet right here, is what the crochet looks like. All right, y'all, I'm going to take away and go make it, and I will chat with you soon. 
Hi everybody, I'm back and I did make up the Gainsey washcloths. Before we get going, you may question what I'm wearing and this is the Sunny Waters kerchief um, that I made. I put the video out last week and this is that DGY uh, silk yarn that I received and the pattern is on my website for it. Okay, so let's get back to talking about the Gainsey washcloths. And so I did make these two guys up. Um, the pattern on here, and it does show us an intermediate, and I do believe it's an intermediate. There are some areas on it that were a little confusing, not hard. It's just the way they wrote it was a little bit confusing. So if you guys are out there trying to work it and you have questions, drop them to me in the comments and I'll try to help you out. On uh, second pieces, that these little hooks that to hang them, I tried, decided not to do that. And so here are my two. There's the first one. This up here is actually the bean stitch, and they make it, again, make it sound complicated, but it's pretty simple to do. It's really kind of variation of a puff stitch and then a reverse crab on the edging. That's the first one. And then here is the second one. I like the center on this set in here. And I modified it and put the bean stitch around this edging, which it didn't call for, but I wanted that specifically because I'm going to actually make more of these and use them for placemats on my dining room table. And let me tell you why. <laughs> so I did these two, right? And then I have a bunch of yarn left over. So this was from the first one. The second one. So the second ball. Remember, I got four balls of this of the lily sugar and cream this is a totally intact ball and then i have a sink at one and so i have two and a half balls left over of the lily sugar and cream so they gave me way more than what was needed so as i shared i'm going to make two more of those and use them as placemats as far as the yarn goes don't like the yarn i'm going to say that up front don't like it um, i mean i I've seen this in the store a lot of times and I've never purchased it because I just don't like the feel of it. And now that I've worked with it, I definitely know I don't like it. It, it killed my shoulders working with this yarn. I am going to use it up, you know, just to, to be done with it because it is a, a cotton yarn and I do like cotton, um, but not my favorite yarn. I did look up the price, um, roughly $4.29 per. And so it would be almost $17 for the yarn. And then if we look at the pattern being roughly worth $3 to $5, and I always say that, so $3 bucks, um, will go for $20, bucks, and I paid $27 for the kit. Um, so price ratio, it's not great um, as far as that goes. However, as I always say on kits, what we purchase them for is the experience and for having other people curate. I do not think that the anti kits are bad at all. I mean, that I think the patterns have been decent. Um, the yarn that they've sent, at, except for I don't like this one, <laughs> the other yarn that I've gotten from them was not bad, and I liked it. Um, however, I think this will probably be my last month on this, simply because I think I've went through the gamut of what they're going to send. Remember, we had the cotton, and then we had acrylic, and now we've had cotton again, and, and then we had bulky cotton too. I don't think that they um, deal a lot in the other, you know, the silk or, you know, linens or anything like that. But um, it certainly links in. The pattern built itself as an intermediate this time, and I do believe it was, which is a nice feature about this product, is that it's not just um, easy, it's stepping it up to intermediate. Um, so that's a plus, a very big plus. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. If you have any questions or comments about this, or if you have or trying to work this, these patterns and you have questions about them, put them below and I will try to help you out. Have a fantastic day, y'all. Bye.